Mm, all right, number 18, we have the function of f and its derivative, f prime to be 2x plus 1 and f of 1 is 4. We have to find the approximation for f of 1.2 using the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals 1. Okay, so the strategy here um, I'm going to go show you is um, let's find the equation for f of x. Let's use the form mx plus b. And then we just basically use this equation to estimate what the value of y is when x is 1.2. So eventually we want to get f of 1.2. But we first need to find the equation for the tangent line when we're going to use the form y equals mx plus b. So if we're told the derivative is 2x plus 1, we can find the, the slope of the tangent line at 1 by plugging 1 into the derivative equation. So f prime of 1 is just 2 times 1 plus 1 which is three. So then right now we know that our tangent line will have a slope of three, but we still need to find the y-intercept. We can find it by using the point one four, because this one four tells you it goes to the point one four. So we just set y equal to four, x equal to one, and then solve for b. And then b here will be equal to just one. And then we just now rewrite our equation for f of x as 3x plus one. And then we can find f of 1.2 by plugging 1.2 into here. 3.6 plus one and we get 4.6. The answer is D. Nineteen. Let f be the function given by f of x equals x cubed plus minus six x squared. The graph of f is concave up when. So the key here is to find the equation of the second derivative, and just see when it's going to be positive and when it's negative. So find the first derivative would be equal to three x squared minus 12x, and the second derivative would then be 6x minus 12. So we want to find the zeros of the second derivative. So for that, we just set it equal to 0, solve, and then x is 2. So then we just study around 2. We want to see what's going on before 2 and what's going on after 2. And we only really care about the sign. So let's just, let's plug in one, let's plug in zero and plug in 10. Doesn't matter what values, as long as they're outside of that interval or the out, uh, as long as they're not equal to two. So F double prime of zero would just be um, negative 12. So this is a negative number. So that means the graph is concave down. Now we find the second derivative at 10. And I'm plugging in 10 because 10 is usually an easy number to work with. 60 minus 12, and it's 48. So it's positive. And that means the graph is concave up after two. So it's concave up for x is greater than two. So the answer is A. Or 20, we're given that g of x is x squared minus 3x plus 4, and f of x is g prime of x. And we got to find the integral from 1 to 3 of f of x. So another way to just interpret this is just the integral of g prime of x. Because if you integrate this, you then get the antiderivative of g prime of x, which is g of x. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus, this would be g of 3 minus g of 1. So then we just evaluate this. We just figure out what this is. Plug 3 into here. 9 minus 9 plus 4 minus plug in 1 into there. 
one minus three plus four. So we get four minus, four minus two, the answer is two. And so this is equal to two and that's it, the answer is C.